Welcome to I Am One, where I am one with the Creator and one with myself. Happy 2023 to you. This is the first posting that I'm making since the new year began or this new calendar year began. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little under the weather, but I still wanted to come on just for a few minutes to say, hey, uh, check in on you and let you know that all is well. And uh, I'll be back on a regular soon. A couple of weeks ago, my husband came down with a pretty heavy cold or sinus congestion or whatever it was. And as he was healing last week and getting better, this week it floated my way. So I'm in the midst of it now and on my way to the other side of it. But I wanted to share, um, I want to share something I did to bring in this new calendar year. I was listening to the Queen Poe. She was talking about um, things that we as African, people of African descent in the United States would do to bring in the new year and some of the practices that um, were brought over from Africa and some of the traditions that they started while here in slavery. And I thought it was interesting because a lot of the things when we were, when I was still in the church that we would do, not realizing it stemmed from some of those traditions. But one of the things that she said that really resonated with me and struck me to my core was remembering and paying homage to the ancestors, those who have gone on before us. And while we leave one year and begin to enter into another one, that we bring their memory with us, that they're no longer here, but they are in the flesh, they're no longer here, but they are certainly here in the spirit, in the ethers. And if you believe in reincarnation, maybe they've moved on into another life cycle. Um, I'm not saying yes or no to that. I'm just saying that's, that is some of our thought processes. And so I put it out there. And so, uh, that really, like I said, struck a chord with me and it, it touched me really, really deeply. And so I decided to get pictures of my grandparents who are no longer here and my mother who is no longer here. And uh, so I reached out to my aunt, the last living sibling of my mother, and one of my cousins. And he actually came through for me to get a picture of my grandfather, my mother's father. And I reached out to one of my husband's cousins to get a picture of his grandparents because he didn't have any pictures of them. Because I wanted to get both sides, not just, uh, this wasn't just for me. But this is for my household. And so in order to move forward in victory, in order to move forward in uh, uh, strength and honor, in order to move forward in, um, in my authenticity is what I was talking about. I said I was going to be my, my true authentic self without apology. But in order to do that, you got to recognize and realize who put all this into you, who uh, you know, the, the blood that's running in your veins, who's responsible for that? And I wanted to pay homage to my, um, like I said, my grandparents and my mother. But I also wanted to do the same thing for my husband's side. Um, he grew up, he grew up without his father in his life, but before his father passed away, um, praise the most high, um, they were able to reconnect and have a short, uh, relationship. And I believe that was on purpose. I, I believe that was by di divine purpose and orchestration. And it is just fitting that even as I wanted to uh, honor his side, that that would be possible, that he had that short, brief um, relationship with his father, that I could put his picture up on this board and there be no sadness, there be no regret, but fulfill fulfillment of that. And, and uh, so I have... His, his father, his mother is still here with us, but his father has passed. I have a picture of his grandparents on both sides. And it's just, it's just an amazing, uh, an amazing thing to see that out of the lives and out of the struggle and out of the, uh, victories and, and, 
and and whatever their you know how their lives unfolded they're responsible for me being here they're responsible for my husband being here and this is also a uh, uh, a lineage a keepsake for our son that he can see that he's never met my grandparents. He met my grandmother, my mother's mother before she, well, he was still a baby by the time she passed. Um, but I have a picture of her holding him as a child. I have a picture of my father's mother holding my son when he was a child. She passed um, several years. I think he was in grade school by that time. So, but lives touching lives, all of that matters. And this morning, even as I'm dealing with this cold and trying to push through, the feeling of healing just came to me. And it's not necessarily about being healed from this cold. The cold is going to pass. But there is some deep healing that we need to go through. Deep healing, yes, some of it may be physical, but I believe a lot of it is spiritual and mental. Because a lot of things have been spoken over us throughout our lives. A lot of things have been said to us throughout our lives. A lot of things have been done to us throughout our lives. And we're carrying a whole bunch of that hurt and disappointment. And we're carrying a whole bunch of that uncertainty and unknowing. Um, my great-grandparents, I don't have pictures of them. They should be on this board. So I, the only pictures that I could gather are my immediate, uh, my mother and then her parents and my father's parents. And then my husband's uh, father and his parents and his mother's parents. So that's all I can grasp onto. But even with the ones that I have, I know that there is a meaning for them because they had parents and they had grandparents and so on down the line. And so I know that there's a lot of trauma. I know that there's a lot of disappointment. I know that there's a lot of victory and celebration with that as well. But in this moment, I just felt like there is a time right now where we need to deal with healing, well, however that looks for you. But I believe it is more, like I said, more internal, more spiritual, and more mental than it is physical. Yeah, I want to get rid of the sniffles and the sneezing and the eyes watering and congestion and stuffy nose. I do want to get rid of that. That's physical. But I want to go deeper than that because we need to go deeper than that. And so this morning, I just want to, in these few minutes, I just want to take us through a meditation. I'm, I'm no uh, expert in any of this, but I'm just going to go with the flow. So I lit a candle and I have the uh, poster board of pictures that I had created of, of my ancestors and I have them before me and you may not have pictures of your ancestors in front of you but for those that you knew I know you have a picture of them at least in your mind and so I just want to take us through a quick meditation for healing and call on the spirit of healing my husband said something uh, this week. He said, you know, this weekend we need to get some incense and we need to just uh, have some meditation time and we need to just heal. And he, he doesn't realize how prophetic that was for him to say that because it is, it is so needed right now for everybody. You don't have to be a black person to have healing. I don't care who you are. If you're a human being living, living this human experience, you need healing in some kind of way. And so I'm not trying to isolate anybody. I'm not trying to ostracize anyone. I, I'm saying that as a black person, I know that we as black people need healing, but we as humanity also need healing. Uh, earlier, I think it was earlier this week, a young man uh, collapsed on the football field. I'm, I'm sure you saw the news. Collapsed on the football field in the middle of a game and went into cardiac arrest, actually died on the field. And it struck a chord with our whole nation that I don't care what religious background you are or what color you are or what your philosophy is, everybody was sending up prayers for this young man who's only 24 years old. My son's 28. I couldn't imagine a mother being there and seeing your son collapse on the field, die, and then have to go 
with him in the ambulance to the hospital and just do that weight game to see if he will come through. And I'll praise he has. But we all need healing. We all need to dig deep. And we all need to get to the core root of what's going on. And we need to let those things go. And we need to move forward. So with that being said, Almighty Creator, I come before you on this day and I say thank you for life. Thank you for breath. Thank you for my being in this experience. Thank you for the lives of my ancestors. Thank you for what you've brought them through and how you've seen them through every step in this life, and then moving them on to the next. I thank you that in this time, the strength that I have, the courage that I have, the boldness that I have, and yes, even the insecurities that I may have, that run through me, that I inherited from them, good, bad, and indifferent, I thank you for it all, because that is what created me and made me, me. But in this time, creator of all, I speak forth healing deep within. I speak forth healing in my mind, body, and soul. I speak healing in my spirit. And I thank you that I have everything that I need to walk in this healing. Healing from every trauma, healing from every disappointment, healing from every negative word, negative action, negative vibration. I thank you that I'm able to walk in peace, in harmony with you, with creation, and with my fellow human. And now, Most High, I speak healing into the lives of those who listen to this recording, that their trauma is healed, that their disappointments are healed, that their, the negative words that were spoken over them are healed, that the negative actions that were sent their way to bring hurt and harm no longer have authority or power over them, no longer have the ability to keep them down, to keep them stagnant, to keep them living in fear, no longer. I thank you for the spirit of their ancestors who gave them life, who gave them strength, who gave them courage, who gave them power. This day, creator of all, I speak forth healing, and wholeness. I speak for truth and liberty. I speak for freedom and power. I speak it forth from you through their ancestors and to their very being at this present time. May we all walk forth in victory. May we all walk, walk forth in our true authentic selves. And may we leave a legacy of power and strength and courage to all of our descendants who come after us. May it be their history lesson, how we stood in the face of adversity and moved forward, how we stood in the face of mocking and rejection and every trial and trauma and test that this life brings forth. And we rose above it victoriously prosperously and with our heads held high. I give all praise to you, creator of all. I thank you for your spark that lives within each and every one of us. I thank you that we have direct access to you. And I thank you that we are able to be our true authentic selves, being a blessing and encouragement to our fellow human in this present experience and looking forward 
to the life to come when this one is said and done. I give you all praise. So shall it be as above, so below. Peace and blessings to you all.